All right, for those of you that missed class today, here is what we're working on, and that's expected value. Um, I, I shared a document with you that uh, you can follow along with and take some notes. Um, but basically, expected value is uh, given a situation where you have a couple of, you have a, either you make it or you don't make it outcome. How many times will it take to finally hit that outcome? Okay, um, so here's the first situation. Imagine you're sitting on the rapids bank of a rushing river and salmon are attempting to swim upstream. They must jump out of the water and pass the rapids. I'll let you finish reading it. Uh, what's the probability that the salmon will make it on the second attempt? Note, uh, what, note the situation requires that two conditions be met. The salmon fails in the first jump and succeeds in the second jump. Let's draw a tree diagram with the probabilities the situation assuming that the salmon makes it, the path is done. So in other words, we've got our first tree. The fish makes, tries the first time, right? He has a 0.35% chance of making it, okay? Then, uh, and he has a 0.65 chance of failing. Then he's got another jump, or she, and he has a probability of making 0.35 on the second jump, 0.65 on of not making it. Okay. Now, uh, so making the probability of making it on the first jump is easy, right? That's just 0.35. Okay. The probability of making of failing on the first jump and making on the second jump is just the multiplication of those two. Um, hold on. Um, which is uh, 0.65 times 0.35, which is 0.2275. Then we go to the next round. Let's see what the probability of making on the sec on the third jump. And you can see that it's going to be 0.65 times 0.65 times 0.35 because all the probability going along that path adds up there. And we just multiply that, and we get 0.1365. Um, so those are the probabilities of all, all along all those paths, right? Now, um, so the probability of making on the first jump is 0.35. Probability of making on the second jump is 0.2275. And the probability of making it on the third jump is 0.1365. Now, you'll notice that the probability is decreasing each time. And it's actually decreasing by 65%, right? Because we multiply whatever the previous one was by 65. Um, and you can see that because this is just 0.35, prob the probability of making it. This one is... 0.35 times 0.65, and this is 0.35 times 0.65 times 0.65. So in other words, it's it's 65. It's dropping by 0.35 each time, or it's 65. This number is 65 percent of the one above it. Now. Timmy brought up the chant, the Timmy brought up the point in class that um, that it, the more and more tries you make, the, the better your prob probability of making the jump and finishing the situation, right? Well, we can figure it out that because the probability of getting on the probability of getting it on the first try or the second try or the third try would be the same as summing all those. There we go, third try. Then it would be the same thing as adding all those up, right? Because or means plus. And when we add all those up, we get, when we add all those up, we get 0.714. So they pretty much get it by their, by the third jump. Okay, 
And you can see that every time we're going to keep increasing that. Okay. Now, um, so let's go to the next page and let's look at a new situation. Um, now, so imagine that you're playing a board game and in which you must roll a four on your die before taking your first turn. Okay. Now, uh, I, we, we did a lot of spreadsheet work, and I will share that spreadsheet with you. Um, but let's go and highlight a few things on that spreadsheet first of all. So this data here is, in this column A, is all of the, we physically rolled a die and see how long it took us roll to roll a four. So for example, this cell here, it took two tries and I got a four. This one, it took 21 tries. Now you look down here, we did 51 tries total, okay? And we found the average number of trials to be six, um, which is nice and convenient, okay? And so that was data that we actually gathered. So here's one where it's it took 19 tries to roll a four and this one Here's one where we got it on the first try. So, uh, so going back to our um, sheet here, um, we gathered all this data so it's on the spreadsheet. Okay. Um, based on that experiment, it took six trials, or it took on average six trials. Okay. Now, to calculate the results more theoretically, imagine a perfect sequence of rolls in which the results look like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Now you'll notice that get from 1, 4 to the next, it takes 6 rolls. You can get to the next, that takes 6 rolls also, to the next 6 rolls. <coughs> huh. Starting to be a pattern there. Now um, let's create another tree diagram real quick. Um, well, you can see here we created a tree diagram where... Uh, the, um, where the probability goes down. So, for example, to, for the, to roll a four in the first roll, you get this one and six, okay? To roll one on a second roll, we would travel this path, and we would get five, six times one, six, or five out of 36, okay? On the third roll, we would travel down this path, all the way down here, and that would represent third roll, where we multiplied 5, 6 times 5, 6 times 1, 6 to get the probability. And here represents all that. And then the fourth, one more time, you'll notice that. And in class, we noticed a pattern. So you might take a second and kind of copy down that tree diagram, pause the video, um, and then we'll move on to the next page. Um, so then we noticed a pattern that um, the, probability in, the probability of getting it on the first roll was one-sixth, was one-sixth, right? Which is the same as one-sixth to the first power, okay? Then the probability of getting it on the second roll, we noticed this. Third roll, we noticed that this. And we started to notice that the number of rolls was the same as raising one six to the to that power, okay. But the number of fives was one less than, okay. And so we ended up coming up with this equation, which was five to the n minus one over six to the n. You can see how, in all cases, there's 6 to the 5th power, right? And, okay? So we end up coming up with that. And then we started working through this next spreadsheet, okay? And working through all these different parts. Um, and I'll share those with you. Um, and I'm going to start another video that, so that we can talk about uh, spreadsheet training stuff, so...